Hi dear all, myself Gajendra Dikshit. I welcome you all. Me and my teacher team have decided to give you a special video lecture series. This will be very short videos, but very very important videos for especially JWE mains and JWE advanced aspirants. Because in these short videos, we'll be directly discussing with you previous year question asked in JE advanced examination paper. So without wasting any time, let us start with our first video is completely based on a very important concept called as stability of resonating structure. Frequently in JE advanced exam, they have asked a question based on this concept. Identify the stability of resonating structure. Let us directly start with the question which they have asked in 2009 JE advanced paper. Few resonating structures are given. Which these all are resonating structures. These all are RS. And we have to find out their stability order. See, to solve such type of question, you should remember the rules to identify resonating structure stability. The number one rule, you can, you can see those rules on your screen also. The first rule, but very important point, dear student, you are supposed to follow these rules in a sequence. You are not allowed to change that sequence. You cannot directly pick up any rule and apply it. Definitely your answer will go wrong. You have to apply those rules in a given sequence only. The first rule given, if you can read that is, more number of covalent bond gives more stability. So first check how many covalent bonds are present in the structure. In any resonating structure, if more covalent bonds are present, then that resonating structure will get more stability. So how it is because that particular structure is having one extra bond and whenever in an organic compound there is one extra bond formation takes place compound releases energy bond formation results into release in energy so energy level of the compound will reduce and compound will get more stability so if more covalent bond more is the stability that's the rule number one but if you observe that two compounds are there and both the compounds are having same number of covalent bond, then the second rule gets activated. Neutral compound is more stable compared to charge. So if the two compounds are having same number of covalent bond, then you have to check if one is a neutral and in the second compound charges are given, then the neutral compound will become more stable compound. Again and again, dear student, you have to follow it. With the sequence, first we will check for the number of covalent bond. If you find that if compound is having more covalent bond, you need not to check the rest of the rules. 101% the compound which is having more covalent bond will get more stability. But if in a case if you observe that two compounds are having same number of covalent bond, then the second rule gets activated and the neutral compound will be more stable compared to charge. Then the third, if you find both the compounds are having charges, then the third rule gets activated. What is that third rule, dear student? Negative charge, if it is present on more electronegative atom, then that compound is more stable. Then you have to check in both the charged compound where the negative charge is given. And if the negative charge is present on more electronegative element, more electronegative atom, then that structure will get more stability. In vice versa, if more electropositive element is there and it is having positive charge, we will get more stability. Then the fourth rule, if you observe that negative charge in both the structures, sir, it is present on nitrogen only. So negative charge present on same atom. Then the last rule will give you the answer that the like charges should be away from each other. You know that positive positive repulsion. So if two positive charge or two negative charge, they are away from each other, then compound will get stability. In vice versa, if two unlike charges, positive and minus, they should be close to each other. Two unlike charges should be close or like charges should be away. These are the four rules, 101% you will be able to solve any question based on resonance stability they have asked in JE advanced. Let us directly move on the question. 2019 JE advanced question. Four structures are given. We have to identify the stability order. What is the first rule which we discuss? More number of covalent bond, more is the stability. Here you can check all the covalent bond, but did not to do so. You can check the number of pi bond itself. It will give you the answer. 
number of pi bonds. You can see here there are two pi bonds are present in this structure. In this structure, there is only one pi bond is present. Here again, there are two pi bonds. Triple bond means one is sigma and plus two are pi bonds. So there are two pi bonds. And in this structure, there is one pi bond. So out of these four, structure one and structure three are having two pi bonds. And structure two and four are having only one pi bond. So under that one percent, one and three chain pair because it is having more covalent bond. So one and three will get more stability compared to two and four. So one and three की stability ज़्यादा है two and four से because one and three are having more covalent bonds. लेकिन one and three में किसकी stability ज़्यादा होगी? Because both are having same number of covalent bonds. Then the second root will get activated only to check the stability of one and three. Since they are having same number of covalent bond, we'll check the second rule. Neutral compound will be more stable than charged. You can see this compound is having charge. This compound is also having charge. So both the compounds are charged. So even the second rule is not giving us the exact answer. Which one will be more stable compared to one and three? Then we'll activate the third rule. What is the third rule, dear student? More electronegative element should have negative charge to get stability. We'll check where the negative charge is given. In the structure number one, negative charge is given on nitrogen, and in the structure number three, negative charge is given on carbon. Now here we get the answer. Since negative charge is on nitrogen, we all are aware nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon, so definitely one will be more stable compared to three. One is more stable than three. A very good point is that in this particular question, there is only one option given where one is more stable than three. So actually, यहीं पे अपने आंसर आ जाए. The answer should be correct. Answer is B. But still, we'll check entire. One and three is having more stability. One is more stability than three. The reason behind that nitrogen is having negative charge and here carbon is having negative charge. Now let's compare between two and four. We are hundred percent sure that two or four will be less stable than one and three. But two and four में कौन ज़्यादा stable? In two and four में भी बच्चों दोनों के पास number of pi bond same है. Second rule both are charged. Both are charged. तो ये भी answer नहीं दे रहा. Third rule यहाँ पे negative charge is on nitrogen. Here negative charge is on carbon. As nitrogen is more electro negative, more electro negative should have negative charge to get stability. So two will be more stable than four. So the final answer, सबसे ज़्यादा stable होगा one, then three, then two, then four. So correct answer of this question is option B. With the same rule, similar type of question they were even asked in 2007 JEE advanced paper. In this question, the question is which one is the least stable? Here we have to just check which one is the least stable resonating structure. We don't have to set any order. Let's apply our rule. What is the first rule, dear student? Check the number of pi bonds. Check the number of covalent bonds. We'll check the number of pi bonds. Here there are number of pi bonds two. In this structure, number of pi bonds are two. Even here, number of pi bonds are two. Number of pi bonds are two. So if we apply the first rule. All four are having same number of pi bonds. Still no answer. Let's go for second. Neutral compound is more stable than charge. The compound is having charge. The compound is having charge. Here the compounds are having charge. Compounds are having charge. So even the fourth, they go in JE advance. They will not keep simple things. Then make sure you have to apply almost all the rules. First we check number of covalent bond. Same in all four. Then we check whether is there any uh, neutral compound. There is no neutral compound given. All four are charged. So even second rule is not giving us the answer. We'll go for third rule. Negative charge कहाँ पे देखते हैं? And positive charge. Charges कहाँ पे? You notice dear student. यहाँ nitrogen is having plus charge. 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 In the entire structure, the more electronegative atom, nitrogen and oxygen are there. Nitrogen to upper plus charge four of them. Oxygen to upper minus charge four of them. So if charges are taken, then four of them more electronegative is oxygen, and in all four, negative charges are on oxygen. Nitrogen to upper positive, carbon to upper plus minus both charges are. So if one of the third rule, we have answer. Then we have to apply the fourth. 
लाइक चार्जेस इफ कम क्लोज देन इट गिव्स अनस्टेबिलिटी लाइक चार्जेस शुड बी अवे एंड अनलाइक चार्जेस शुड बी क्लोज लाइक दिस ये प्लस एंड माइनस आर क्लोज गुड जॉब प्लस एंड माइनस क्लोज प्लस एंड माइनस वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर प्लस एंड माइनस वेरी क्लोज प्लस एंड माइनस वेरी क्लोज बट इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू केयरफुली ऑब्जर्व द टू प्लस चार्जेस आर वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर दीज आर लाइक चार्जेस एंड प्लस प्लस अगर नजदीक आ गए हो तो झगड़ा करेंगे फाइट करेंगे एंड फाइट विल मेक द कंपाउंड अनस्टेबल सो दिस फाइट बिटवीन प्लस प्लस सिंस दे आर वेरी क्लोज लाइक चार्जेस आर क्लोज इट इज इट विल प्रोड्यूस अनस्टेबिलिटी इन दिस कंपाउंड सो आंसर इज ए व्हिच इज द मोस्ट अनस्टेबल रेजोनेटिव स्ट्रक्चर सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आस्क्ड इन जेई एडवांस बेस्ड ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर कांसेप्ट सम टाइम इन जेई एडवांस यू नीड टू चेक द फाइनल नोट वाला पॉइंट आल्सो चेक द बैलेंस यू आल्सो इन वन ऑफ द जेई एडवांस एग्जाम दे आस्क द क्वेश्चन दैट नाइट्रोजन एंड गिवन फाइव बॉन्ड्स whereas you people are already aware that nitrogen valency is only 3 and max to max it can donate a lone pair and form a coordinate bond but it cannot form more than four bonds so it is impossible for nitrogen of formation of five bonds so if any compound if the valency is not matching then definitely that could be unstable compound so that care also you need to take while solving such type of questions all kuch videos all kuch previous year questions later अलग अलग कंसेप्ट के ऊपर मैं और रेडी दीक्षित साइंस अकेडमी की पूरी टीम अब ऐसे शॉर्ट वीडियोस आपके लिए बनाएंगे बच्चों ताकि जेई एडवांस और जेई मेंस के प्रिपरेशन में आपको प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस के सॉल्यूशंस रेडीमेड हमारी तरफ से मिले पढ़ाई करते रहना बच्चों हार्ड वर्क करते रहना डेफिनेटली सक्सेस हमारे से दूर नहीं भाग सकता ऑल द बेस्ट बेस्ट कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इन डोंबिवली और जेडब्ल्यू मेन्स एडवांस नीट यू जी एम एच टी सी टी इलेवन ट्वेल्थ साइंस नाइन टेन्थ स्टेट बोर्ड एंड आईसीएससी बोर्ड रेगे दीक्षित साइंस अकेडमी